introduce the topic adrenal diseases including disorders such as cushing syndrome addison disease few grow cytoma primary hyperendosteronism and congenital adrenal hyperplasia are relatively rare in pregnancy but timely diagnosis and prompt treatment are critical because these disorders can cause maternal and fetal mortality and morbidity making the diagnosis of adrenal disorder in pregnancy is challenging and symptoms associated with pregnancy are also seen in adrenal diseases in addition pregnancy is marked by several endocrine changes including activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis the adrenal disorder in pregnancy what really happens uh, acth and cortisol they progressively increase cortisol and progesterone are antagonistic and mineral corticoid action is needed to increase plasma volume cortisol and aldosterone and it protects from the natriuretic effect of the progesterone we will discuss because as i told the adrenal disorder are rare in pregnancy the first is the pheochromocytoma these are the chromophane tumors are rare but dangerous maternal death is higher if undiagnosed antepartum and patient can die during labor or during induction of anesthesia biggest diagnostic problem is attributing hypertension to pregnancy induced preeclampsia so if you are suspecting pheochromocytoma uh, during uh, pregnancy it can be differentiated by preeclampsia Uh, by the biochemical findings that in uh, preeclampsia proteinuria is present but in pheochromocytoma proteinuria is absent so it can be differentiated as the fetus grows uterus compresses the tumor and causes the following hemorrhage into the neoplasm severe hypertension hemodynamic compromise myocardial infarction arrhythmias and congestive cardiac failure high index of suspicion must be there especially when there is a severe uncontrolled paroxysmal hypertension orthostatic hypotension family associated with multiple endocrine neoplasmia uh, plasma 2a thyroid nodules medullary thyroid carcinoma and neurofibromatosis we diagnose the pheochromocytoma by 24 hour urinary venylic mendelic acid or metanephrine to diagnose adrenal pheochromocytoma labetalol and methyl dopa should be stopped and for the diagnosis of extra adrenal masses mibg scanning should be done and mr imaging without gadolinium uh, should be done how to treat the pheochromocytoma <clears throat> during pregnancy uh, first of all we give the alpha blocker phenoxybenzamine in a dose of 10 to 30 mg 2 to 4 times daily and beta blocker only after the alpha blockage is achieved and if tachycardia or arrhythmia persist hypertension emergencies may be treated by Phentolamine in a dose of one to five milligram, and in the third trimester, cesarean section plus tumor excision should be done, and postpartum excision of tumor is also done. Second disorder, adrenal disorder, which we encounter during pregnancy is the uh, Cushing syndrome. The commonest cause is long-term steroid therapy, bilateral adrenal hyperplasia due to acidity producing adenomas less than one centimeter microadenomas. most patients have corticotropin dependent cushing syndrome and in such cases an evolution and androgen excess prevents the pregnancy now when we compare the causes of cushing syndrome in the non pregnant state in the pregnant state uh, in the non pregnant state it is the pituitary adenoma which accounts for 75% of the cases adrenal adenoma 5 to 10% of the cases and acth independent and ectopic acth tumors 15 to 20% of the patients and in the pregnant state Uh, it is the pituitary adenoma 40 percent of the cases, adrenal adenoma 40 percent, and ACTH independent, an ectopic ACTH tumor in 20 percent of the cases. However, diagnosis when it occurs is difficult. Weight gain, fatigue, emotional liability, glucose intolerance, edema, serum cortisol levels will be raised anyway if it is a case of Cushing syndrome. Urinary cortisol more than three times normal is diagnostic. suppression and extrusion test have not been studied in pregnancy treatment long term therapy is not indicated and resection of the adenoma in the second trimester is definitive treatment <clears throat> metiropon and ketoconazole can be used till surgery is the plan and in cases of uh, <clears throat> mifepristone mifi, mifi cannot be used in pregnancy in pregnancy 
थर्ड डिसऑर्डर एडिनल डिसऑर्डर ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी इज एडिनल इनसेफिशिएंसी प्राइमरी एडिनोकॉर्टिकल इनसेफिशिएंसी एडिशनल डिजीज इज वेरी रेयर एंड सेकेंडरी टू ट्यूबर प्रोसेस यूजली एन हिस्टोप्लाजमोसिस मे अकर एडिनल ग्लैंड दे आर यूजली इन लार्ज इन केसेस ऑफ आटोमिन एडिनल डिजीज वाइज दे आर स्मॉल इन केसेस ऑफ हिस्टोप्लाजमोसिस हेमरेज इन्फेक्शन इट मे बी पार्ट ऑफ द पॉलीगुलेंडर आटोमिन सिंड्रोम and symptoms again overlap with normal pregnancy it is only in hyperpigmentation may mimic the plosma of the pregnancy since pregnancy is a hypercortisolemic state low cortisol level must prompt an acth stimulation test and if the <coughs> basal uh, plasma cortisol is less than 8m plasma cortisol is less than less than 3 microgram per deciliter it is a case of uh, adrenal insufficiency During labor, stress dose of the hydrocortisone, 100 milligram, eight hourly, and shock due to hemorrhage sepsis should be ruled out. And the another disorder, of the adrenal disorder which we encounter during pregnancy is primary aldosteronism. Progesterone blocks the aldosterone action, and normal pregnancy till the it ameliorates the symptoms. And potassium supplements and antihypertensive are given. Spironolactone can be not be used. during pregnancy because of its anti intrigonic effects and tumor resection in second trimester is safe in curative if adrenal adenoma is the diagnosis of primary aldosteronism and it can be diagnosed by the aldosterone and renin ratio also congenital adrenal hyperplasia mutation in the gene encoding the steroid 21 hydroxylase cyp 21 is the commonest cause of the adrenal hyperplasia 90 to 95 percent of cases in pregnancy are because of 21 hydroxylase spontaneous abortion rate is twice more common and congenital anomalies are frequent there may be cephalo pelvic disproportion due to android pelvis and fertility is improved with glucocorticoid therapy and it is a must for conception dexamethasone in a dose of 20 microgram per kg prepregnant body weight should be given what are the fetal risks of the congenital adrenal hyperplasia depends on the carrier status of the father dexamethasone 20 microgram per kg per day up to 1.5 mg daily in three divided doses starting during gestation maternal plasma and or urinary est uh, estriol levels reflect the fetal adrenal synthesis and efficacy of the treatment only 25% of the female fetuses are affected treatment must be discontinued in male fetus and in unaffected female Chorionis villus sampling should be done between 9 to 11 weeks or amniocentesis for androestrogen and progesterone in 16 weeks for early gender determination now i will discuss one clinical situation as i told the adrenal disorders are very uh, rare during pregnancy and there should be high index of suspicion and if it is diagnosed promptly we can have improvement in the morbidity and mortality a 28 year old woman presented with pre syncope nausea vomiting treated symptomatically sodium is 129 bp 80 oblique 40 low blood pressure presents at pre term labor and igr there is a profound hypotension post delivery with a sodium of 122 and stimulation test baseline cortisol 34 rises to 44 because of the trans presental passage of cortisol the adrenal uh, there is a protection for the adrenal insufficiency and there is a immediate crisis during post delivery period so addition to disease and pregnancy no fetal morbidity is there if there is a pre existing addition to disease management no different to non pregnant state may need hydrocortisone dose increase in the third trimester or times of acute stress <coughs> and the dose is 10 to 15 mg uh, per meter uh, square body surface area Two third of the dose is given while patient awakens, and remainder of the one third of the dose given in the afternoon. There is no dose uh, in the fludocortisone dose is not changed, and the in a dose of 100 milligram, hydrocortisone has mineral cortic acid effect also. During labor, hydrocortisone 50 to 100 milligram intramuscularly given six hourly or 200 milligram every 24 hour via continuous IV infusion. Tail up back to normal dose post delivery for breastfeeding. Additions presenting in pregnancy may pre 
additions may present during pregnancy as adrenal crisis at the time of delivery due to late diagnosis and it may be associated with fetal growth restriction it should be diagnosed in the usual way no pregnancy specific reference range available for cortisol acetate but cortisol normally in pregnancy so use higher cutoffs example a random cortisol less than 300 in first trimester and less than 600 in second trimester and less than 600 in third trimester should raise the suspicion of adrenal insufficiency in given clinical context if there is a history of hypotension hypoglycemia syncope and uh, vomiting and sometimes it may be confused because of the hyperemesis gravidarum uh, during pregnancy so we have to exclude at the management is very rewarding and it is very important to improve the fetal morbidity and mortality the take home message is adrenal disorders are rare in pregnancy but are associated with considerable fetal mortality and morbidity if not promptly diagnosed and treated cy1 p 21 a2 deficiency is the most common cause of congenital adrenal hyperplasia which causes fetal androgen excess and female fetus fertilization however the it protects uh, transplacental pressure protects the mother against the androgen exposure the most frequent cause of cushing syndrome during pregnancy is in adrenal adenoma and surgical treatment is recommended to improve the fetal and maternal outcome primary aldosteronism can improve spontaneously during pregnancy and is successfully controlled with medical therapy if you chrome cytoma is diagnosed during pregnancy adrenoptomy should be considered as untreated few chrome cytoma is associated with maternal mortality as high as 48% adrenal insufficiency can be diagnosed during pregnancy because circulation of cortisol in tissue two fold to three fold in pregnant women such that plasma urine cortisol values within the not within normal range are misinterpreted as normal so i think this, that was the last part of my presentation thank you for the patient hearing